to the video I hope you guys are well it's a uh, Wednesday morning midweek nice and quiet and I'm at Holme Fen and uh, it's about mid morning it's about uh, it's about 11 o'clock so the sun's fully up it's uh, lighting's quite harsh but I'm traveling light today so you'll notice no microphone on me today I'm just going to use the GoPro audio and I've brought no tripod with me I've just brought my camera and a vintage lens which I'll talk to you about in a minute and my plan is really just to come and get some handheld shots here maybe hopefully get some close-up shots of some interesting bits and pieces and get some nice swirly bokeh in the background and get some handheld shots of some wider scenes and maybe if I'm really lucky I might come across a bit of fungi Ooh, like that yeah it's not a very pretty one though. Yeah, so that's the plan today anyway. We're just gonna take a wander around Home Fen for a couple of hours, camera in hand, everything handheld. We'll see how we go. talk about my lens shall we it's actually two lenses I've got here today two vintage lenses vintage lenses today one of them the one that's on my camera at the moment is a 52 millimeter Helios 44-2 now that goes down to f2 uh, it's totally manual which means that you literally put it on the camera and you're controlling the aperture and the focus via the lens itself it's uh, it's a lovely lens. Um, it's not the sharpest, but I think it gives off a really nice vintage look. And if you get it right, you can get some really nice swirly bokeh with it. And the other lens I've got is this 35 millimeter Soligor lens, and it's a f3.5 aperture. Um, haven't used it at all yet, so it would be interesting to see exactly what I get with that but that's going on the camera actually I might put it on the camera now because there's some really nice little uh, selection of trees here that I think 35 mil would work really nicely with so let's put it on the camera now and have a look at it but uh, yeah a couple of nice vintage lenses just a little happy wander around and not worry too much about getting photos or not getting photos just enjoy the experience really
know, it's really strange. I'm shooting in a completely different way with these vintage lenses on. I'm not looking at the same things or for the same things that I do when I've got my normal lens on and I'm on a normal day out. I'm just literally just shooting what I see. So if I see a bit of light, I'm shooting that. If I see a bit of texture, I'm shooting that. I'm shooting close up, I'm shooting wide. I'm just shooting everything really. And it's a, yeah, it's a bit liberating actually. Um, I can't say whether the shots will come out particularly well or not, but I'm really enjoying it. Uh, let's have a look in this little area here. There's some lovely light on these trees. That might well be worth shooting. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's certainly different. So I'm not normally one for dishing out loads of advice, but I am going to give you a piece of advice on this occasion. It's, uh, it's not technical advice. It's, uh, it's all about perseverance. Now, I got here initially, or originally, and I thought, do you know what, I'm going to have one of those days. Nothing's going to work. I could almost feel like the shots weren't coming, but within the last minute for about two hours, and then within the last hour, the creativity has been flowing. I've been finding and seeing shots everywhere. And they say about getting your eye in and you go, oh, yeah, I know I always say, yeah, getting your eye in, but it's actually really true. The longer you stay somewhere, the more shots you take, the more you look, the more you'll start seeing. The more you'll start seeing shots, compositions, light, patterns, framing, etc. So, you know, if you're having a bad day, stick with it, give it another half an hour before you go home and you never know what you might find. Mm -hmm. 